Hello everyone, it's Old Guardian here. So I started season 40 playing some Highlander Warlock. And I have to say this has been a lot of fun. Uh, Highlander Warlock is not really a thing anymore because we know Jackson rotated it out into the wild. But Kasakus can still be a pretty powerful card. And Highlander Warlock is really, it's, it's a kind of deck where no two games are alike. So there's a lot of variation, a ton of decisions to make. Very often when you lose, you can find that, that, okay, if I had taken a different path right there, I might have been able to win this. That sort of thing. Very, very challenging to play in the current meta without Reno, especially. But this has been a pretty fun list. The list that you're seeing here is the first version that I built of this deck. Like this, so pretty basic Highlander Warlock stuff, also featuring Leroy Jenkins and Faceless Manipulator for some burst damage, even though there's no power overwhelming anymore and no Emperor Taurus and so max damage you have is 12. And Faceless Manipulator can also be used more freely. You don't really have to save for that combo, you can use it more freely also to copy good minions from the opponent. But still it's good to have some burst available. And of course Alex Trust, Jaraxxus, some ability to heal up. Uh, already I made a couple of changes to the deck actually. I have taken out the Kittering Tunneler, I replaced that with a Golak Crawler, and I also took out Elise the Trailblazer and replaced that with a Gluttonous Ooze. And I think I will also replace the Tink Master Ooze Spock, I'm not completely sure about that yet. But this is definitely a work in progress, so it's not yet a fully tuned list. But anyway, I have played some fun games with this list that I really want to share with you all. So let's go take a look at some gameplay of what Highlander Warlock could look like nowadays. Remember, if you enjoy this content, then like this video and subscribe to my channel. And let's take a look at that gameplay. Why does it have to be a mage again? Ouch. Okay. Yesterday I faced more than 50% priest. So I figured maybe I can play Warlock, because if I'm facing 50% Priest, come on. Priest is terrible against Warlock. I can actually win the games. But now I'm facing 100% Mage. I'm not amused. Well, Mage has so many ways to deal with the Doomsayer, so I guess I'll drop it here. Counter spell or ice block? That's the question once again. I guess we'll tap here. Let's see what happens. Okay, he's glyphing for burn. That's what mage should do against warlock. They know warlock cannot heal. Glyphing for burn is the way to go. Yeah. Here comes the burn. We respond with a Kasakus. Let's make a 5 cost spell. Trying to find armor. There's my 7 armor. 7 armor and making a sheep or summoning a 5 5 demon. Not summon a 5 5 demon. Might be okay. That can still be a counter spell or ice block I haven't tested. I have the coin to test with. Now there's probably both. He should ping the Kasakus. He's so greedy. Okay. Next turn he cannot kill the demon yet. I guess I'm gonna go with Cabal Courier here. Can I find healing? I cannot. We go with this, and we go with this. We go with this. Oh, there was no counter spell. Barrier and block. I'm surprised. I was absolutely certain it was going to be a counter spell. It was actually barrier and block. Okay. 
So he probably doesn't run counter spell. That's his second block right there. He really wants to deal damage. He clearly enjoys damage dealing. I can try to find an ice block of my own. If I summon the 5 5 demon now, he can just play a violence portal on it. Then again, that violence portal would not be coming to my face. So I guess there is a definite upside to that. And I can siphon so the minion that comes out from the violence portal. Yeah, I think this is fine. Let's do it like this. Go to 21. Give it, present him with a violence portal target so that he might not hit my face all the time. He has another secret, but is that another barrier now? I have to assume that's going to be another barrier. Yeah, double barrier. So this is actually freeze mage, right? This is not even gun damage, this is just pure freeze. So how do I respond? I guess I could play the Mister of Mixtures. Let's play the Glimmer Root. Can I find a card from his deck? Well, I know that Primordial Glyph is the card from his deck. It's going to be the card from his deck every day. But I can only discover Warlock spells. I can draw Chiraxus from my deck with this one if I like. I might need that. Let's grab that one. How many cards? I have nine cards. I can afford to draw it right now. Let's draw Charaxus from the deck. Charaxus removes my armor. So I need to be careful about. Oh, it is actually a burn mage. I was so sure this was freeze. Oh well. I'm not too concerned. Because I can just ooze away the Atish. But do I want to use a siphon soul on the god Medivh yet? I think trading away the small ones is fine. Get a little bit of healing going. These are susceptible to all of his AoE effects anyway. This one goes phase and then I'll drop Elise here. And we can also play the Wordless Imp. Just to make playing Meteor a tiny bit more inconvenient. I have my two health to 15 resets in hand. I'm currently at 25. Okay, well now I'm at 15 and if he happens to have... If he has that 15 from hand, and if he has Fireball, Fireball, Frostbolt in hand, then I will just die. Unless I Siphon Soul my own minion. Do I want to siphon soul my own minion? That was from Primordial Glyph as well, so that was pretty pretty sweet for him. Fireball, Fireball, Frostbolt is lethal. Siphon souling my own minion is the only way to... Didn't he Fireball though? I'm not sure. Maybe he did. So I guess we're not going to siphon soul my own minions yet. Let's just drop... Drop a taunt on the board. And hold on for now. He doesn't have that lethal. So is this the turn where I go Charaxus? And I cannot get above 15 health ever. That's pre but pretty uh, pretty bad minion for him to have, by the way. 
Because now he can heal up with the Halazeal, so I have to deal with the Halazeal. Or I can pop. I can deal with the Halazeal or I can pop. I cannot do both. I guess it's time to go Charaxus at least. I don't think I will pop. I think I will pop him. Let's see. I probably needed to trade the tree 2 into Halazil and use weapon to pop, but that was a small mistake. Now if he has a flame strike, that punishes pretty hard. Yeah, that punishes pretty hard. Yeah, I need I needed to use the tree to into Hella Seal and use my weapon to pop. Um, I mean, he still would have had the flame strike. I just can't afford to take any damage. I probably have to trade away the Hella Seal. I probably just have to trade away the Hella Seal. I could deal thirteen. I mean, I could silence Hellazeal as an option. I'm going to silence it. I think I'll silence it. So now he can't get extra healing from the Hellazeal. And with this positioning, Meteor is largely ineffective. Not completely ineffective, obviously. Okay. Deal 3 damage to all other characters. 7 plus 3 and I heal myself up. That's the play. Hit there, hit there. I'm in Salen Force to pop this block. Deals 3 damage to my own face. But the other thing fast here heals me back up to 15 because he has not had 15 the previous turns. And he already used the Meteor. He needs to freeze my face and deal with the minions. Double Bolymorph does not deal with the minions. Mountain Giant may be able to help because it cannot be devolved. So if he has a bit of a slow hand and I get to tap tap a little bit, then maybe I can drop a Mountain Giant. We'll see. I'm on the coin, so I, so I only need to tap once. So I could tap into a Kittering Tunneler. Living a flat which is super prone to heating up during summer. Oh dear, that's painful. Tunneler time. I guess it's better than trying to coin the mountain giant, right? The place. Let's tunneler. Probably an extra shadow flame. That seems like a plan. Taking four damage from here, but that enables me to clean up some of the shaman boards later. If he has a flame dunk totem here. How do I recover if he has a flame dunk totem here? If I play the giant, he still gets to do value trade. Say he has flame dunk totem, 
Primorphin Totem. But he also needs to dispatch his Oh dear. So if he plays Bloodlust next turn, Bloodlust is 9 plus 5, 14, Bloodlust is 16. If he plays Bloodlust for 16, I can either have a Kasakus Potion. I can pick up a 1 mana Kasakus Potion right now. An AoE Potion. That also deals damage. No. But it summons a 3 3. And I will coin that out. So then the Flame Dunk Totem is isolated. And now he cannot go in with the Bloodlust. He could still play a Maelstrom Portal. He could hit here with the Jade Claws and Maelstrom Portal. So if he has a yeah, if he has Maelstrom Portal, this is still a bad deal. Doesn't have that. So Bloodlust, well, only two minions on board. It's not that bad. I want to take away the Flame Tongue Totem here, rather than the Mana Tide. I can afford to give him a couple of cards, as long as he cannot chain the minions. Then I can drop the Mountain Giant. And Mountain Giant cannot be devolved, because it's 12 mana minions, or devolved tries to make it an 11 mana minion. There are no such minions, so nothing happens. Was there a new set or something very recently? Come on. <laughs> no, there has been nothing very recently. Yeah, there's going to be an announcement next weekend about the upcoming set. So that is going to happen, yes. So, Bloodlust cannot be combined with the Jade Lightning yet, but it can be combined with a... It can be combined with Jade Claws. Bloodlust is 12, 13... Multiple ways to proceed from here. I don't want to Shadow Flame my Giant. I'm probably going to Shadow Flame a Far Seer. I might not even do that, we'll see. So I can Siphon Soul this one. That doesn't really accomplish much now, does it? Actually, maybe it does. I don't have to set up a taunt if he only has three minions on the board. Let's go with this. I'll siphon all that one and hit here. Thing is, he's also going to pick up that Evolve and Doppelgangster combo sooner or later. Right now, I'm planning to play the Abyssal and Force next turn. If he doesn't do something that clears here. Well, that 1 4 is also very convenient right now. Because it prevents the giant from getting through even after an Abyssal and Force. So I'd have to have a 4 attack minion for the Shadow Flame. If I wanted to go with that. Well, now he cannot play the Bloodlust this turn. There's no patches to draw out. Shadow Flame is always an option, but I think I would rather just kill this one and drop the Enforcer here. So that cleans up the entire board. And he's, clearly, he's clearly preparing for the Bloodlust all the time, that was the Corsair play as well. But I have a couple of Shadow Flames in hand. I have some Taunts available. Good Jade Lightning there. Nice thing. I 
another primal from totem. Can't quite play man faceless into faceless into shadow flame. So I'm just going to shadow flame the enforcer. I mean, I could shadow flame the farseer. I could hit with the enforcer, heal that one up. It will be at four health. He has spent one jade lightning so far. So he could have another jade lightning. I think this is the play. Farseer, this one. And shadow flame the farseer. So now the second Jade Lightning is the only way he can deal with the Abyssal Enforcer. Well, that can deal with the Abyssal Enforcer as well. I mean, I could Blast Crystal Potion that... But do I really want to do that? No, not really. He has spent both things from below. He has spent one Stonehill Defender. He has another Stonehill Defender left. He has all of his nice combo pieces. He has Evolves, Devolves, Double Gangsters. I think I'll just take this trade here and I'm going to Alexstrasza him. Alexstrasza on myself is probably ineffective. Because if he gets a whiteboard and gets those bloodlusts going, then I just need to need to be able to clear the board anyway. Let, let me let me check with the manual. What does it say about the what does it say about mods? No, it didn't say that you you have to be not come to be a mod. I think it didn't say that. Okay, can I kill him somehow? The answer is no, I cannot. Maybe I'll just push the date to face. Let's go with this. Should have flamed this fellow. Push the date to the face. If he gets one taunt up, I have a blast crystal potion. If he gets two, thanks to Stonehill Defender, then I cannot kill him. What? <laughs> you look pretty serious saying that. Of course I looked serious. That's absolutely serious. He could have double bloodlust in hand. Well, this is just lethal now. Last crystal there. Soul fire there. And Alex draws up to their face. <laughs> but we'll see. Some games have been pretty good. Others pretty bad. Like that Paladin game. I don't like my plays in that game. Bungo from Congo, are you going to get sub emotes? I'm entitled to one sub emote. So I should just make one. That would be possible. So if he has a buff for these, then they can kill a Doomsayer. And why would he innervate them out unless he has Mark of the Lotus or Power of the Wild in hand? So I can either tap and try to find Hellfire faster. I think I... I don't think that's a winning line still. I need to trust that he doesn't actually have the buff. That he just has like a Mark of Yashu Rush, which is not enough. But this indicates a Mark of the Lotus. Ouch. Well, that just happened. Buckelman, do you have a deck code? I can make a deck code for you after this game.
I guess that we lose. I'm wondering what what is the way that I could win. I mean, he has he has 14 damage on board. I can't quite figure out the way to win right now. I actually have the way the way that we win. We top deck Mister of Mixtures and then we Shadow Flame that in two turns. Hellfire next turn, then Mister of Mixtures into Shadow Flame the turn after. That's the way we win. He's going to have 12 damage on board after this one. Okay, Mr. of Mixture's top deck. Come on, Mistress. So I will heal for 8. And he has 8 plus 4, that's 12. He has 13 damage. I'm dead with the apothecary. I need the Mister of Mixture stop deck now. Yeah, that's that just puts me to eleven. Not enough. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel for more.